I was trying to get a yellowtail, but this is definitely not a yellowtail. My name is Emily, guys. We got Amanda behind the camera. Welcome What's up, guys? My name is Amanda. Welcome to our channel, Gale Force Twins. We're out here fishing. Obviously, that's what we do every single day. <laughs> and Emily is hooked up. We were kind of looking for some yellowtails. Don't know if they're here, but we really just wanted to have some fun, see what we could find. Honestly, anything would be exciting. We don't know what this is. I don't know what it is. You don't, what did it eat? It ate a silver side on a, li a little like snapper jig. On a snapper jig, we ate a silver side, and we're just excited. We're excited to catch <laughs> fish. It's not always about, ooh, it's not always about. I see it. You see it. I see color. <laughs> Daytime snapper fishing. This doesn't happen, but it's working today, and I don't know why. It must be the sun, the moon, the cloud, the tide, and everything put together. We just kind of decided we wanted to. Oh, I'm winded because I'm so excited. Let's measure our mind. Measuring snappers is total length, and you and you can pinch the tail. That is considered allowed. It's not. Do the tail pinch. There you go. So we'll pinch the tail. That's zero. Okay. 19 and a half. That is a keeper. We've got a, a keeper, keeper mud snapper, snapper outside of Hillsborough Inlet. High five. Ew, you're slimy. I am slimy. Okay, <laughs> check it out, guys. Mutt and snappers are most commonly identified by this black dot right here. And they're pink and they're pretty. And they're blue line on their eyes. And we caught that on a flat line. Yes, I caught this snapper. I was flatlining. So what that means is I had a silver side on a hook and I was free like basically letting the line go freely no tension on it just making my piece of bait look like it was a piece of chum and usually you catch yellowtails like that you can catch muttons like that I have done it before other than today but I was not expecting it it's not an all-the-time thing I think we need to put this fish on ice and keep fishing see what else Let's we can get do it fish on fish on Amanda's got a fish on I got one uh oh why are you swimming towards the boat so it what do you think it is? is? I have no idea! I had a big bait though. You did? Nice big silver side, yeah. Check out that rod bend, guys. Do okay. I need to get the net? It's a yellow tail! It's a keeper yellow tail. Hold on, hold on. Get the net. Let me get the net. Where's the net? It's the net. Yellowtail snapper. Look at that, you guys. 
That's daytime really yellowtail fishing outside of out of Hillsborough Inlet is typically not something people do. But we are finding success with it, which is pretty exciting. I'm gonna show you our rig, show you our bait, but let's keep fishing while the bite's hot. Go, go, get some water. I got some weeds in there too. Put it down. Check this out guys. I don't know if you've ever done this when you were on the beach, but growing up we used to do this on the beach. We're gonna give this a really good shake. Shake, 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 shake. Okay, Let's see what we can find. See anything? See anything moving? Oh yeah, there's baby shrimp right oh, there. Oh, look at the baby shrimp, guys. Let me show Check you, this out. let me show you. We were out here, we're on anchor fishing and this huge weed patch came along. And we said that, okay, let's pull our lines in and let this weed patch pass because there's no point fishing through it. This baby shrimp. Is it a shrimp? What do you think it is? I think it's a shrimp. Yeah, I'm just having a hard time grabbing it. You got it. Look at that. Look at this, you guys. It's a shrimp. Isn't that crazy? All the life that you can find in weeds. Check that out. Let's grab another pile of weeds before it goes away. Okay. We grabbed a couple more. See what we can find. There's baby shrimps everywhere. Guys, look inside these little, I'm gonna move them, you're gonna see shrimps move. See that? You see it? See it? Look, watch, I push it and then shrimps come out. Whoa! Push it again, ready? There they go! There they go! There's so many of them. Look, there's some on the bottom. All right, if you guys are ever on a beach, Take a bucket of water or a cup of water or anything and explore the wildlife. Ben, the How much time has it been since I caught my fish? <laughs> like minutes. Minutes, minutes guys. Minutes. We're here, it's a yellow tail. Yellow tail. It's another keeper yellow tail. Wait, I have to get the net again. We're making our way, we're making our way. We're making our way to the yellow tail. out the reason if you guys are curious the reason why we net our fish is it's just another safety measure because one of the times where you need to worry about losing your fish is bringing it in the boat <laughs> is bringing it in the boat <laughs> that hurts so bad you got in the corner <laughs> well he unhooked himself <laughs> why we net our fish guys is because it's one of the concerning times for losing a fish is bringing it into the boat. The most concerning time. The most concerning time, yes. Other than getting sharked or getting caught on bottom. But the reason why, as I'm gonna whoops, explain this to you, is if you grab the line and then your fish is flopping, this is this is stable, no your hand's stable, and the fish is flopping, so the fish can flop up and then fall off the hook. But if you net it, that doesn't happen. The other option is you cup the spool, the reel, and you lift the whole thing in. So this way, if you're holding it at the reel, you have the bend of the rod, and the fish starts flopping, the rod starts flopping with it, because you want that line to always have tension on it. The safest way is to use a net. Nice, beautiful yellowtail snapper. During I think, the day. Yes, I think we should, uh, let's show you guys our rig. Here's our silver side, our bait that we're using today. You can use we actually found, if anyone does this in the Keys, use shrimp if you do it up here by Pompano. We recommend silver sides. But I've done both in both places and it works, so. So these are little circle jigs, circle hook jigs. You don't have to have circle hook jigs. I actually we bought actually, these on accident. Right, we don't usually use circle hook jigs. This is an accident. Yeah. But you can get this in size maybe from like 1 8 to 1 16 to 1 32 ounce jigs. And what I recommend you do is you buy all three and you go out and you fish with them and you have like a couple people have different sizes and whoever starts catching more fish is going to be the one that is best for that day because it depends on how fast it sinks, where the currents go, uh, what the current's doing, and all sorts of stuff like that. Right, so, so this, when we get started, yeah, Emily is gonna be using a 1 8 ounce jig and I'm gonna start with a 1 16 ounce jig and we're gonna see who's catching more fish, depending on who catches more fish, we'll switch gears. Oh, Emily's catching them, I'm gonna switch to 1 8 as well. This leader here is 12 pound leader, very, very- 12 pound fluorocarbon leader. Carbon. We and have 10 feet of it, so basically it goes from the jig up to the top of the rod down pretty much to the reel. And if 
you look here, this is actually an Albright. Oh, I tied that. I had an Albright. Albright, to tie to the braid, we have a 30 pound braid. 30 pound braid. 30 pound braid. 30 pound braid. And this is a uni tied onto our hook. Let's put our silver side right. on. Put the silver side on. Here's how I put them on. First, I'm going to go through the eyeballs. Okay. Then I'm going to turn the hook down and go through the body. Just like that. Just like that. Perfect. Yeah, like that. And break the tail off. Break the tail off. That is optional. That's optional, but I think it works. Do it for good luck. All right. I haven't. I haven't been breaking the tail off today. <laughs> I have been breaking the tail off, but Emily's catching more fish, so it doesn't matter. True. The idea is that you want your little silver side, or your bait, or your shrimp, or your bonita chunk, whatever it is you're using. You can use bonita chunks to be floating in the current, and you want that little piece to be floating. In the current. You want it to look like a piece of chum from your chum bag going out with your chum, like me, 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 just like that. And what Emily's doing over here, all I'm doing is keeping what I call is a belly in the line. So this is a belly, okay? And the goal is to keep up with your belly. See that? So I'm always maintaining this belly. And what's gonna happen is when a fish takes it, it's gonna go tight like this, okay? I just did that with the rod just to show you. And then it's gonna start ripping off the line and you're not gonna be able to keep up with the belly. That's how you know a fish is on. And I'm gonna recommend you wait three seconds, not like one, two, three. I'm talking one Mississippi. Mississippi. Then you're gonna close the bale and you're literally just gonna start reeling. You're not gonna gain the rod, you're not gonna set a hook, you're just gonna set, start reeling, hold the rod tip at a decent angle, and catch your fish like that. Ready? Yes. Catch another one. Catch another one. Go. Go. Fish on! Fish on! We got another fish on! We got another fish on! Thinking it's another yellow tail, it's acting like a yellow tail. Oh, yeah. And it's also acting like a keeper yellow tail on too. On top of it all, look at that. It works. Okay, we're yellow here. Tail. It's yellow tail. The color? Should I just swing this one? Let's, here, let's show people how to swing them, guys. Okay. Okay, ready? Come on. Two. Grab the spool, lift, and jump. And in the boat. <laughs> there we go. Oh my god, they just keep getting bigger. Wow. These are huge yellow tails, you guys. Look at that. Leak. That is insane. Leak. These are nice snappers. Way to go, Amanda. Yeah, that was five. an awesome high five too. It was, that was like, that was perfect. Look at how pretty they are. Look at that. I love, love, love the colors on these fish. You can't go wrong. You guys can see, they get these like leopard spots on them. How cool is that? Yellowtail snapper, clearly called yellowtails because of the yellow tails. Yeah, that's so obvious. The, the meat is so flaky and white and delicious. Snapper is my hands down favorite fish in the whole wide world to eat. Ready? Grab the de-hooker. Ready? Give it a good shake. Oh, he's free! <laughs> he's free! Get him in the box. Nice. Yellowtail snappers in the boat. You see how fast it's going? Turn you see that? Line. See that? That means there's a fish on there. Ready? Go. There we go. We're on. Fish on. on. And just so you guys know, what I did is when I had that bite, I waited for the fish to run and give the fish a good chance to swallow, to swallow it and run with it. Fishy on. Fishy on. Woo. This one's out there. I sent this one to Timbuk too. <laughs> Look at that. I see. Oh, it's not a yellow tail. It's not a yellow tail. No, I don't know what it is, though. Coming back around. We're gonna make a run. I'm not sure what we have. Real. Watch out for the. Yeah. Okay. Keep reeling. It's a, a bonita! <laughs> we got a bonita! No. We got a bonita! Bring him on the boat. Alright. Uh, come on, Mr. Bonita. It's set. Lift. Bonita, which is a species of tuna, but a bait species of tuna. And you can tell they're bonitas based on the swirly back here. The swirly back? The swirly back. That's how you know it's a bonita. Um, also known as a false albacore tuna, which is the proper term for it, but us people in Florida, we call them bonitas, and I don't know why I can't give you a history lesson on that. This bonita is great for bait. Deep drop bait, even yellow tails, fillet them, cut little chunks, and he's good, perfect. Let's put him on the ice. Guys, because we will definitely keep this and use it for bait. Into the ice he 
Chico's. Thank you for watching, guys. If you like this video, please, please, please hit the like button and subscribe. We hope you enjoyed watching us catch colorful reef fish, mutton snappers, yellowtail snappers, and the bonitos. <laughs> Make sure you follow Gale Force Twins on Facebook, Facebook Instagram, and YouTube. YouTube.